Hey everybody, it's George the Tech. I'm at the LA Synth and Pedal Expo here in Echo Park, California. As you can see, it's a very popular event. It's waiting outside to get into this place, but for good reason, because there's so much really interesting stuff. Found my way to the back corner and stumbled on Goodman, the man, the myth, the legend from Centrance. And he's got some interesting stuff to show as always. I haven't seen you since NAM show three years ago. Yeah, it's been a while. Very happy to be here back in LA presenting some of the new stuff that we have coming out. What did you bring along today? What's interesting to the voice actor that they probably haven't heard of before? Let's see, probably the soul box. Why is it called the soul box? Because it's supposed to clean the sound of your voice. And also because it reminds us of Trafalgar Square, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, right? There's a little soapbox that people stood on in order to do like an impromptu presentation or some sort of a speech. Anyway, so soapbox right here is a cool little small portable device that has a microphone input, a microphone preamplifier, 70 dB of gain, so really high quality mic pre, followed by a gate and then followed by a compressor, which is actually pretty amazing. What we've done is we were able to compress a lot of high quality, professional level, studio grade circuitry into a box that is essentially the size of a traditional sew box, right? Now the third piece of signal processing gear that's inside the sew box is the de -esser. It allows you to get rid of the annoying sibilant sounds that come into play, especially if you're using a condenser microphone. So let's just go through this one by one. If I start speaking, you can probably see this white LED coming on, demonstrating that the gate is working. First of all, I adjust the level of my mic, and then what I do is I can get rid of the background noise by adjusting the gate. Then I can bring in the compressor. And then what I can start seeing is that the compressor will start to reduce the level of sound depending on how much I am compressing it. That gives me a chance to prepare my voice for presentation, whether I'm going on the radio or on TV. It allows me to sound more confident, have more body in my voice, and cut through the mix a lot better. So the gate gets rid of the background noise, whether that's air conditioning or perhaps some sort of a noise, like I am in a noisy room right now. I can cut all that out, and the compressor gives me that more balanced, focused sound that a lot of people prefer. And then of course we have the professional meter that helps you understand where the levels are set so that you don't accidentally overload. Then the de allows me to change the frequency and then change the amount of de -essing. How much am I getting rid of these annoying sibilant sounds? Some people don't need it, some people do. And then this knob right here, the final knob, is a dry wet mix. So if it's been completely dry, that means that the signal comes through uninterrupted. And if I turn it to, to wet, that means that I am processing the signal to the maximum degree. So Soulbox is a really nice little product that allows you to shape your voice without really going into a professional studio. The best part about it is that it's all analog technology. This is technology that used to be used in the studios in the 70s, that's when that came into prominence. We were able to shrink it down to a very small size but it has zero latency. So it's great for people who are going live because you're not going to experience a delay between when you speak and when your voice shows up online. Totally analog. And the meter is looks like a stereo because left, right, but it's actually in and out. So you're seeing what's coming it, in exactly. and Exactly, this out. meter allows you to see how much processing is being applied to your signal. So for example, if I'm really leading on the microphone, you see I'm going into the red right here on my input. This is my input, the left meter is the input. But the compressor, if I start dialing it down, will then start compressing my signal so that it doesn't actually exceed a certain level. That's what the compressor does. It brings your signal in check. It brings your audio into compliance such that it doesn't overload anymore. So that's what this product does. It's a really nice nifty little analog signal processor that you can use in your rig and it will help you um, sound more confident, sound better in your podcast, in your voiceover narration, or in your YouTube video. Excellent. I love the innovation. You're, you're always iterating and innovating, creating things that really stand out in a crowded marketplace of audio gear. And the sound quality is always kept at high priority, which not many things in this form factor 
maintain that sound quality, which has always been impressive to me. Thanks so much. It's so cool that you happen to be coming here to Los Angeles. Thanks, George. Great to see you again. If you need anything else in the world of audio, tech, voiceover recording, acoustics, or just ways to use new tools to your best possible outcome, find me over at georgethe.tech. Thanks for listening.